Hey, I'm Danny, welcome back. So one of my favorite guitar pedals is one of the most important ones to ever exist. It came at a time where boutique pedals were just kind of kicking off, and many of those builders credit this pedal as a game changer in the pedal industry. And I ignored it for probably the first 20 years of me playing guitar. So I did an event in 2023 where we had this big wall of amps, and people were walking by and they were just like wowed by the sound. PRS was across the way and I think they were even a little cheesed off that we were as loud as we were. But that's because people were so addicted to the sound. People would just walk up, grab the guitar and just rip and have so much fun. <laughs> And people were shocked when we told them that the distortion wasn't coming from the amps, it was coming from this pedal. This thick, chunky, articulate pedal that stacks with overdrives and fuzzes perfectly. The Boss Blues Driver. It's very trendy to love the Blues Driver right now. I've never really wanted to play the blues and I'm sure, like me, you probably wrote off the Blues Driver because you don't play the blues either. How do I blues? Blues. 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 Someone needs my help. The Blues at your service. Danny, hi, it's me, your best friend, Buddy Blues. Let's see what he's got for us. I heard you picked up a new pedal, congratulations on that. And it's in the name, so I'm here to give you just a few pointers. The Blues is a feeling. There, the Blues isn't even music, it's just a feeling. It's the expression of what's inside of you, what's inside of you needs to come out. And the only way for it to come out is for it to come out with the biggest bends. In the blues industry, we call this big bends, bro. Now, the thing is, everybody can bend. You know what I'm saying? You just hit a note and then you bend it and stuff like that. It's not very interesting. The thing is, something has to come out of you when you bend. So I want you to imagine something disgusting, okay? And you're touching it and it's squishy and it's kind of disgusting, right? But you don't know what it is because your eyes are closed and you're feeling it and it's wet and gooey. Now I want you to bend the string and whenever you bend the string, I want you to one of these. I'm going, I want you to like that, see? Now practice that at the mirror quite a bit. It's, it's gonna take years and years and years of playing. The more unrealistic it looks now, the more realistic it'll look on stage when you're playing in front of 80,000 people. And there you go, this has been your blues. Lesson intro. Thanks. That was super weird. after those bends. Wow, buddy, thanks, that was fun. Now, before we get scared off that this pedal that's called the Blues Driver is only good for blues, we should dip into the archives. This is a great book about Boss and the history of Boss. If, you've, if you can find it, pick it up. Yamada-san says, we decided on the Blues Driver name first, then started on the development. We were after a new crunch-like distortion if you distort using the amp and turn the guitar volume down, you can get a clean sound. This was the idea and the BD2 was the first effect that allowed you to control the distortion using the volume control on the guitar. Okay, all right. It has the same feel as the analog version of amp simulation. The circuit is completely different from circuits up until then because it represented a completely new direction. Wow, that's actually sick. That makes sense. It responds dynamically like an amplifier. That's cool. Amps are also used in other genres, so let's check out if the blues driver is good for other genres of music.
what you're thinking. You're saying, Danny, you have multiple Boss Blues Driver looking things on your pedal board here. What's the deal with that? Well, like I said, there's a lot of Blues Driver love out there. So naturally a lot of manufacturers are coming up with clones, their takes on the circuit. Uh, even Boss has a Wazacraft version of the Boss Blues Driver. The Blues Driver, the original, this is a slightly shinier version of the 50th anniversary. <laughs> So the Wazacraft version is essentially the same in the stock mode. Custom switch gives you a slightly different voicing. To me, a little smoother, a little thicker. Nice complement to the sound. It's not completely different and out of this world, but it's a nice little switch that gives you a little bit different. Now the other one is the Winnipeg Blues. Now the merit of the blues is that the low control gives you control over the low end when you change the amount of gain of the circuit and everything. And it's just a handy little control to make sure it's always fat no matter what the setting you're in. <laughs> And then the fuzz control makes things go crazy. So if you know me, I don't like anyone telling me what to do. So I'm not gonna let the name of a pedal dictate what style I'm gonna play. If it sounds good for my stuff, it's good. There are no rules. This isn't even real. This is the internet. Be yourself, be weird. Dance around a little bit. And please, 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 don't let the name of a pedal tell you what to do. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Extortion. It sounds painful. <laughs>